Hey guys, once again, this welcome to Naveen Automation Labs. So back to our array list chapter, guys. One more small thing I'm going to cover in this particular chapter that how to compare two array list in Java. Okay, so there are four different ways we will talk about how to compare two array list which are given, how to find out the common elements between two array list, how to find out the, the missing element in that particular list as compared to the first list, and then uh, how to compare exactly uh you know we will sort it and then we will compare using equals method also so let's do that so i'm going to create a class over here and uh, i'm quickly creating a class name is array list comparison or array list compare select the main method click on finish now the first way is i'm going to explain with let me just write the first way we are going to talk about using sorting and equal so first we will sort and then we will be using equals okay so how to do that for example let's see i have a quickly i'm going to create one uh, two array list over here so i simply write one array list which is having let's see some string over here and uh, let's see this is my l1 array list is equal to new array list i'm going to create and then this is also a string type and then i'm using uh, simple directly with arrays a dot as list or you can use add method also but i'm quickly adding let's see uh, something over here let's see capital a simple example i'm giving capital b and then i'm using c and then i'm using uh, let's see d and one element is missing let's see e i'm directly writing f over here simple and then this is the array list that i have created import this particular array list and then create one more array list that is l2 and here i'm using e over here simple now first we have to sort it so let me sort let's see this is unsorted order or already this is right now it's already sorted but let's assume that okay it's unsorted order so the good practice is that first you sort it so how will you sort this particular array list element so simple write use collections class so collection dot sort method is there and then simple write list number l1 and then i'm going to sort list number l2 also so first sort it okay <clears throat> after sorting i'm going to use compare so how to do that i simple now see it carefully i simple write system dot out of in if l1 dot equals method is there dot l okay with equal to l2 return true or false so equals method is giving you a boolean so let's see it is giving true or false so both the things are not matched it will give you false why obviously because one element is missing over here it's a b c d f and this is a b c d e so f and e both are different so it will give you false over here remember this thing. simple now what i'm going to do that i'm going to create one more list over here let's see i'm going to create one more list let's see this time I'm creating l3 like that and then this is the exact list with respect to uh or let's see a b c d f i'm going to create so l1 and l3 both are exactly same so now if you write system dot out of bindle in l1 dot equals i simply write l1 dot equals l3 then both are exactly equal then it's giving you true you can sort it also first time and then you can compare simple so in that case it will give you true over here so guys the point is ultimately first you have to get the exact elements and then only you can do that so now if you have this certain let's see b and then you are writing a over here all right and then you are comparing <coughs> l1 with l3 so if you run it now what will happen it's giving you false because now this is not the sorted order so it's one to one indexing also it will check a is not equal to b although elements are same so what do you have to do first you have to sort it now got it so let's sort l3 as well and then you compare then you will start getting true once again so sorting is important that's why i'm telling you sort and then use equals over there simple okay then we will compare let's see i want to compare two list and uh, we want to find out the additional element additional element in the 
second list so how to do that so this is also a very common interview question so uh, let's see i have uh, i'm going to create two array list two array list i can create let's see this time i'm going to create l4 and l5 like that and this guy is having uh, a b c d f a b c d e right now i want to check that okay in the second or in the first array list which one is not there in the second array list so i can see that okay f is not there in the second array list so how to do that i can remove all the elements from the second list from the l5 list so what i can do is i can simply write l4 remove all method i'll be using with l5 it means remove all the elements of the second list right so how exactly it will work and then i'll print system dot order print l and print l4 so what will happen if you run it first let's run it and then you see the output it's giving you f over here right guys it means a b c d got removed and then only f is left over here <clears throat> so this is what is giving you find the additional element which is available over here like that so this is the additional element which is available which is not available inside l5 so it will give you f over here so like this also you can do that okay so with the help of remove all uh, <clears throat> can we find out the missing element yes that also we can do that so the third one approach is that uh, find out the missing element okay so this is find out the additional element let's find out the missing element now so the missing element in the first list is e so i want to print e this was the additional element f now i want to print e so here we were getting f over here now we should get e so how to do that again i just reverse this particular method instead of writing l4 dot remove all i'll be writing list number two that is l5 dot remove all method i'll be using okay and then with l4 so let me just uh, do one thing comment it out otherwise okay because we have already removed that particular list uh, that particular element from the l4 and then system dot order print ln i simply print the list number l5 l5 over here so l5 please remove all the element from l4 right so whatever the l4 element a b c d will be removed from here f will not be removed because f is not there what is left only e is left over here so let's run it we should get e you can see e so we have find out the missing element over here in l4 simple so this is also we can find out the missing element right now the fourth part is that find out the common elements right what are the different common elements which are available so in this particular list you can see a b c d is the common element or intersection i would say what are the common elements are available in two array list right so let's do that so i'm going to create two more array list i don't want to use the same array list so let's create let's see this is my uh, language one list and this is my language two list in language one system let's see i'm using some language let's see um java i'm using uh, python here i'm using uh, ruby and then i'm using uh, c sharp and uh, here i'm using javascript js right and i'm going to create let's see same thing over here let's make it language two and uh, i'll do one thing instead of javascript i'm using php over here so what is a common what are the different common elements java to c sharp and java to c sharp over here i want to find out the common elements so very simple you just people are expecting to use the retain all method so simple write dot retain all language to list okay and then you print system dot order print ln list number one so language one so what will happen let's see let's run it only java python ruby c sharp you are getting it so only the common elements you are getting okay java to c sharp java to c sharp that's it so you can find out the common elements between two array list with the help of retain all so this is a practical use case you can simple do that whenever you want to compare two array list like that 
Okay, so these are the four different ways, guys. You can use it uh, to comparison to find out the common elements or to, to find out the addition elements and the missing elements and sort and then equals. You can use it for the comparison. Right, guys. So that was such a small chapter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and if you have any issues, any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Till then, take care and bye-bye.